Yeah. So, Tana John, just jumping into some questions, um, I think uh, most of the people who are zooming in live will be well aware that um, yeah, things on the global news scale are uh, starting to heat up and get even more um, more wild and uh, fractious than than usual. And uh, I'm curious. Uh, if you have any advice for practitioners and even monks, if any monks uh, might view this, uh, how to relate to to news in general? I mean, do you recommend, I think some monks recommend just going to cold turkey that saying practitioners shouldn't watch any news at all. Uh, some people say that, you know, you should, you need to be involved and need to be keeping up with current events. And that's a duty for, uh, for anyone who's, um, in a, a role of possibly doing any kind of counseling, uh, what what approach would you take for? Um, yeah, what advice would you give for practitioners in terms of uh, media consumption? Uh, minimal. I err towards the, the first. Uh, I personally have almost zero interest in politics, although it's pretty much impossible to avoid at different levels is, I mean, there's monastic politics within a monastery, within a group of monasteries, just human beings, that's, that seems to be our nature. Um, mostly, like I only heard a couple of, couple of days ago, talking with a lay friend who said, what did I think about, you know, the situation in Ukraine? And I had no idea. So I Googled it and I, the Russians are moving in and I figured probably people are dying. Um, uh, so what am I going to do? Probably nothing. I mean, my my sphere of influence is quite limited. If I felt that there was something I could do, uh, I've never been. I have been on one demonstration. The Vietnam War was a big thing when I was younger. Um, I did go on a demonstration, but it was merely to uh, accompany a young lady to um, <laughs> be involved. Uh, <laughs> I think there, there, my particular calling is not, you know, fixing the world in terms of um, legislation, law, this kind of thing. Uh, the fundamental problem is greed, hatred, and delusion. Um, the work of a monk is to transcend those. Um, if everybody could do that, there would be no war. It's quite, quite simple. So my personal interest uh, in relate and and that in relation to my personal sphere of influence. Uh, so that's what I encourage people is to meditate. Um, take up a religious path. Obviously, Buddhism is <laughs> what, I, what I would uh, specifically recommend, but it doesn't really matter. Something that has a strong moral foundation and reflective um, dimension to it. Um, and the rest kind of takes care of itself. So mostly in, in terms of news, uh, people come here offering dana, or just coming here and having a chat and so forth, um, I get to hear about stuff that's going on. You know, it's, not, it's not like we're a closed order, so uh, we are involved with the world, but not in, I'm, I'm not particularly interested in getting entangled. I um, mean, we've also got big um, uh, COVID demonstrations here around government mandates and so forth, people losing their jobs. And, um, so I can understand and, it, and kind of trying to get a perspective from both sides. Um, I have my own personal approach to, to you know, COVID, the vaccine, all of that kind of stuff. Um, so some people are naturally inclined to demonstrate to write letters to the editor of the newspaper, to petition parliament, all of these kinds of things for me, not personally. And in terms of like serious Dhamma practice, you know, we talk about living the homeless life, that, uh, you know, uh, the 10 reflections, I am no longer living ac according to worldly aims and values. Um, so I'm living according to spiritual values. So the news, wars, these are nothing new. I mean, it's been <laughs> the entire human history. In fact, I mean, this particular, uh, the last various decades, 
um, been less people die in, in uh, conflict than there ever has been. So overall, I mean, my, my hope is that uh, human consciousness is um, awakening. People are becoming more aware, um, more sensitive, uh, less parochial, less fundamentalist. Uh, but there, is a, there is a kind of an opening and extrapolating that, my hope is that uh, such things will continue to diminish. But yeah, just conflict. Uh, you, you both live in monastic environments with kitchens and people who work in kitchens and <laughs> have long and lengthy debates about how to cut the carrots and... <laughs> It's just it's a question of scale, and of course, you know. To, to I mean, I I watched one short video, and there were rockets being fired and things exploding, and invariably people being killed. I mean, it's it's happened. You say it's you know, not awful. It is. It's uh, that kind of thing. It, um, how do we deal with it? Um, and for me, starting with um, my own heart, the anger. The frustration, the delusion, these kinds of things in my own heart. If I could, uh, if I could deal with that, there's a, there's a you know a force that's created, the force that's created through the kind of work that we undertake monastically. Uh, it's not to be underestimated. It's not particularly flashy, maybe, um, but there is a there is a, a considerable power hmm. there. So yeah, and just encouraging people, um, newspapers. What do you particularly gain? Um, and and just a question: What am what am I going to do with the information that I've I've um, collected? Um, most people don't do anything other than just become indignant and righteous and angry and all of these, uh, which is not at all helpful. If it's going to turn into some kind of positive action, um, so be it. But generally, yeah, keeping the mind quiet, keeping the eyes clean, the ears clean, and such things. Yeah.